what's up? It's me, Mystery, and uh, I'm back with some more Super Mario Bros. The original 1985 level review. I'm gonna try and do two worlds in one video, and in order to do that, I'm gonna have to move kind of fast. So let's go ahead and get started with 3-1. I don't know what theme this is meant to be. It's a little weird. Um, I guess it's like an ice world. Night world? I don't know. Whoever in the comments that wants to tell me can tell me. I'm really bad right now. Oh my lord. Okay, that was all nothing anyway. Wow. Okay. Off to a wonderful start. So this is uh, just a basic... Oh, never mind. There's a bridge? Of course, I don't remember every single level, so... Hammer Rose! The first level with Hammer Bros. I like how they're introduced with the blocks, and it's like a long amount of blocks, so... It's not too unfair or anything. I feel like there is a secret here. Can I not... There we go. Yeah. Is this a warp? I hope not. Okay. Look at this bonus area. That's fun. I know this is uh, probably already in a previous level. They reuse this, don't they? A nice little coin area. Yeah, I think they reuse this multiple times, actually. Oh no, I messed it up. Sadness. Yeah, those have collision for some reason. I like how those coins are there to let you know to jump down. Some more coins. Hopefully that didn't skip too much of the level. It actually um, brought me to the end, so... Um, I'm gonna run through it again real quick. There we go. Now that I'm warmed up, this should be a lot better. Oh, okay, here's something interesting. Even though there's a fire flower, I can't get it, because I've already got hit. I thought there'd be a secret one-up or something. Nah. nah. Gwen did say there is a one-up in every uh, dash one level. I don't know where it could be, though. Oh, goodness. I totally messed that up. Momentum is so hard to get used to after playing Mario Maker. <laughs> oh my god! This is a iconic block pattern. You see that in New Suit, too. One of the uh, jungle levels has that. Oh, we literally missed two screens. Cool. Um, well, there was a lot going on in that level. I give it a 2 out of 3, because there's not like anything that makes it especially stand out. But it's the first level with Hammer Bros, as a cool Vine segment. It's not bad, but it's also not like super crazy cool. Um, it's not a th it's not a three out of three. That was um, a keyboard error, as I like to call it. Why is this here? That's weird. Note that three two is still an overworld level. Okay, that's a free star, pretty much. It's intentional. I like how this is designed, but I don't know if it's enough to carry the level. Is that it? Oh my gosh, that was nothing! Oh my gosh! Okay... I'm, I'm sorry, but... I have to give the first one out of three to three dash two because that is a nothing level. What happened? What is that supposed to do? Is it supposed to be a star man level? Like you get the star and it's like, oh cool, you run through all the enemies, but there's nothing else you can do with that. And the random poles? I don't know what that's meant to be. It was literally a hold right level. It was basically a flat plane. It felt fairly uninspired. I have to give that a 1 out of 3 because 
I don't know. I, I just don't feel anything I can, like, add to that to give it a 2 out of 3. That That's just a 1 out of 3 level through and through. It's kind of sad that that exists in this classic, often hailed as a masterpiece, uh... But yeah, that's crazy. But now we have a... I don't know what you would call this level theme. I guess like a... I don't know. A heights level? Athletic level? I don't know. Honestly... Also extremely short. <laughs> I even started the timer early. That's a 2 out of 3 level. It's really good. I appreciated the um, the lifts and stuff. I liked it a lot, but I don't know, man. That's that's missing some stuff. Like the lift pulley thing at the end. That platform does it. Uh, was it even introduced earlier in the level? I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm fairly certain that that's just like like the initial gimmick was just sidestepped for that nice little fl flagpole um, challenge so yeah it was a fun level I really like the level layout but it doesn't have like a strict gimmick like previous levels have had like you can tell that a level was designed around a certain thing it like, had an intended experience for the player but as we keep going, it's less and less this, like, condensed exper experience that, like, feels so intentional. And then it turns into just, like, a bunch of combination of things. Like, uh, like, just kind of a flow to the level, and that's it. Which is still good, which is why I give the 2 out of 3. But I can't give it a... Oh my gosh, we're already done. Oh, I died. That adds additional time for it. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> What if I game over through the series? <laughs> um, yeah, like... Uh, it's just so weird to me. Some of the levels just feel kind of random. This is obviously, like, first you have the fire bars, then you have the potobos. And then you're already on to Bowser, so... Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, man, oh, man. I don't think I can give it a 3 out of 3. I don't know. That just seemed like a, a good castle level, but... It's missing something, man. It's missing something. It's like, it needs another screen. It feels too basic still. I I love the gradual change throughout this entire game. It feels like you're playing the same thing, but at the same time, it's just like, it gets harder and harder and harder. The difficulty curve is so palpable. It's great, but it's missing so much to, like, cap off that level. Because it's just like, Fire bar, uh, on the mushroom, you get the mushroom. Fire bar room, dodge them twice, three times. Proto bow, dodge them twice, three times, then it's Bowser. Level's over. There needs to be a little bit more. I understand that the levels are meant to be short, but... Like, the experience, just... It needs more, you know? I don't know, well... I was about to say, it's like... Um, I don't know, it's because I've played the game a lot, but... You should be able to compare one level to um, other levels in the same game, you know? And it's like, this game gets pretty difficult. And later on, it's just like... I don't even know, man. Like, I don't understand why we have levels that feel like they're over in seconds and don't challenge the player at all. Then other levels that are, like, brutal at the end that have, like, twice as many screens. I don't... I mean, I... 
I don't know. Obviously, this game is decades old, and they couldn't just pump out, like, five-minute-long levels over and over. But, you know what I'm saying? It's like, some of these just... Like, they just barely miss the mark compared to what it could be. And this level, I think, is a perfect example of... Ah, man. It's like... If it wasn't for Lakitu, I would give this a 2 out of 3. But this is introducing Lakitu, and it does it so good. The way, like, you have to time the jumps on the Prana Plants, and if you're really good, you can just jump over them with a full momentum jump. And, like, the um, skill curve that's in this level, 4-1, is so good. 4-1 is one of my favorites. I used to hate it as a kid, but the more and more I play it, the more and more I like it. And I think you can get away with these short levels if you always have something new. But, like, as we saw in World 3, there was nothing new. There was nothing really new to introduce. Um, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> why does it put it to 3 and 3 when I start my timer? That's very annoying. Um, anyway, I was refreshing the save, save state because we have, like, a lot of... We have a lot of, uh, warps to consider here. Yeah, like, already, that jump is kind of a bump in difficulty compared to World 3. World 3 just felt, I don't know, it's probably the worst world so far. <laughs> uh, it's so awkward to, with the momentum. <laughs> Anyway, let's fix this. Hopefully I make up one-ups with coins. Because I need one-ups really bad now. This should... Okay. Great. I've lost all my credibility. I'm a fool. I'm a stupid fool. Can we get the skip? <gasps> oh my god, I messed it up anyway. It's a good thing I'm small, Mario. Alright, so, I have to show this, because 4-1 is a very important level when you play the game Warpless. This, I mean, this level pretty much looks like it chops your playtime in half, if you know about the warp. So yeah, here's the warp, and skip all the way to the end of the game. And there's also another warp at the end of the level. I'll show that as well, and then I guess I'll just rewind. You okay? Your body hurts. Damn. Is there a somewhere? I don't know. Nice fire flower placement. I feel like this level does a really good job of evolving the lifts. There's even a Buzzy Beetle there. There's a lot of Buzzy Beetles. And... Oh! World 5! So... And in 1-2, you could skip all the way to, um... World 4. But in this, um... 4 dash, Did I say 4-2? In 1-2, you could skip to World 4. But in 4-2, if you do the same trick, it only goes to World 5. So... I always thought that was interesting. Wow. Um, I feel like this, um... Uh, this video has a lot more discussion in it. has a lot more, uh... Everything to it. It's a lot to sift through in my brain. But obviously, I have to give this level a 3 out of 3. It's one of the best. Uh, it, it's the best underground level, unless we play another one that I forgot about, but I, I honestly just think it's really, uh, it's really cool the way they did the warps, how there's not only a warp to World 5, if you already know about the first one, there's an even harder warp to find that just essentially makes this game beatable uh, for any skilled player within 10 minutes. Like, the skill curve is great for a game this old. It's like, there's so many different stuff you can do. Um, there's also the use of lifts and everything that's just, um, 
It's really well done. I'm so sorry. I know. It's going to sound like I'm eating potato chips right now. Do you have to take everything out of the trolley before you put stuff back on it? neat freak it's okay I understand don't oh she threw candy at me. okay that's a little treat for later okay two more levels <laughs> uh, is this video gonna be too long I don't know I feel like this is a good idea since <gasps> mushrooms a full mushroom level also that's a weird jump and this one is all about these. Okay. Can I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a crazy Mario player. I'm a crazy gamer. <laughs> and I just died. She's shaking the Scooby Sticks. <laughs> it's all a little food cart. I guess I should have given more context since... It, whoever watches the video is going to be like, what the heck is going on in the background? Ah, damn. Damn. Damn, that was so close. That was so close. This is exactly what I'm talking about, this whole video. There needs to be more. There needs to be a little bit more. I have to give that a 2 out of 3, because I can't give it a 3 out of 3, because it, like, it ends. It just ends before you can get truly challenged. Like, there needs to be one more challenging screen. In a sense, I think Lost Levels does this better, because Lost Levels always has just, like, right before you think, oh man, surely that's the end, because that was hard. They do another thing in the level that's even more hard, and that game is... Hey! This is a family-friendly video. <laughs> um, I don't even know if that would get picked up, but like, uh, Lost Levels isn't a perfect game by any means, but there's points where difficulty does improve a game. It's it's hard to believe that um, I thought this game was like, oh, this is so hard than anything else I've ever played, and nowadays it's like it's pretty fair, con all things considered. World Eight is kind of hard, but it's not as bad as, like, I mean, uh, like, have you heard of Dark Souls? <laughs> People like hard stuff. That sounds bad. Okay, you can laugh at that, because it does sound bad. Is this the maze level? It's already over! I must have got the right right path. Oh. Thirty seconds, man. Thirty seconds. I like it. I like that idea a lot. I think that's a lot of fun to have a maze level, but it's thirty seconds. It's not even a minute anymore. These levels aren't even beatable in a minute. It's like, maybe if I went the wrong way, it would have done another 15 seconds, but it's still not even a minute. Like, these levels are too short. It's fun that the game is short um, on retrospect, but if we're looking at this in pure game design, not all of these levels are perfect. They honestly aren't. Some of them don't even really have a huge purpose. Like, I feel like in a lot of fan-made projects, uh creators will make every level they'll try to make every level perfect they'll do crazy ideas and sometimes even having so many different ideas makes it worse <laughs> so much crunching in the background it's okay I'm almost done um, I'm literally about to hiccup and die uh, but yeah it's it would be nice to have new ideas for some of these levels because um yeah, like that level I gave a 1 out of 3. There was literally nothing to it besides the Starman. That was literally a straight line. It, I, I don't know what, what else to really 
to really say about that, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think this was a good, uh, foray into doing two worlds for one video. So, uh, I guess I'll do worlds five and six in one video, but yeah. I apologize for the, uh, <laughs> The, the, the crunchiness, I don't know. Might be some ASMR to add to the quality. We do have a lot of chips. At least we won't feel bad about being snackaholics. <laughs> that face. <laughs> okay, we'll snack tonight. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Sorry if this video is a little awkward. Um, it's really light. You're gonna know that I made this really late because I'm uploading it as soon as it gets done and um yeah it's gonna be like nine o'clock so yeah I'm a little frazzled but hopefully the the review is still uh still epic gamer cash money no. pog champ yeah and never cringe never 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 ever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> uh, see you, see you next time. Um, yeah, it's about every other video I do one of these, so don't have to wait for long. Bye bye.